Hi everybody, thanks for checking out my video about toothpick bridges. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build this truss style toothpick bridge. The bridge you see here had to meet certain requirements for competition. For example, there was a limit to the number of toothpicks that could be used, and the cardboard land on which the bridge was constructed had to have the dimensions you see written here. In addition, there had to be 5 centimeters of clearance beneath the bridge, the bridge had to be at least 4 centimeters wide, and toothpicks could only touch the cardboard inside these designated 5 centimeter square areas. The bridge had to span a 15 centimeter wide river in the middle of the cardboard. A hole is cut in the middle of the land, the cardboard land, so that a bucket can be hung beneath the bridge like this. Weights can be added to the bucket one at a time until the bridge fails. I use bathroom tiles for weights because, well, I just have a bunch of them. The bridges, if constructed well, can hold a considerable amount of weight, so choose your weights with that in mind. I've seen bridges support the weight of 40 bath tiles. You'll want the following materials for this project. First, let's prepare the land. Pay close attention to all the required measurements. Before we can start gluing toothpicks together, we need to prepare the work mat. We will be gluing our toothpicks on this mat. Use a large piece of centimeter grid paper or tape two smaller sheets together. Tape the grid paper onto a large piece of cardboard. Then tape wax paper on top. Make sure everything is flat against the cardboard. If it's wavy, it will be difficult to keep your toothpicks straight. The bridge has to be about 30 centimeters long. I'm going to build the sides of the bridge first. I'm using the centimeter grid paper as a guide. Tiny dabs of glue are all you need. Wood glue creates a stronger bond than Elmer's. As you can see, my bridge is just a centimeter short of 30 centimeters long, but that won't be a problem. You'll see why later. We need to build two sides. While the sides are drying, I'm going to go ahead and build the supports that will hold the bridge up. Basically, I'm just positioning two toothpicks about 5 centimeters apart and then gluing one toothpick across the top. I'm going to make four of these. 
Okay, well that's all we can do on day one. Everything needs to dry for at least 12 hours. I'll continue with the next steps tomorrow. Now that everything is dry, it's time to glue the two sides of the bridge together. Carefully peel the sides of your bridge off the wax paper. If you use tiny dabs of glue, this step will be a lot easier. Find a way to stand the two sides of your bridge upright. Tape them down so they don't move. Glue toothpicks across the bottom and top. While we wait for that to dry, we can glue our bridge supports onto the land. Poke little holes where the toothpicks will be positioned. Add a dab of glue and insert the supports. Add some more toothpicks across the top. That's all we could do for now. We'll do more tomorrow after the glue has had another 12 hours to dry. It's time to place our bridge on our supports. Pay close attention to where the toothpicks are touching. That's where the glue needs to go. If allowed, you could use some clips or tape to temporarily hold things together. Now this is all we could do today. We have to let everything dry for another 12 hours. At this point, our bridge is mostly done. It's just time to think of ways to reinforce the bridge. If you have more toothpicks to use, think about where you might add those toothpicks to best increase the strength of the bridge. Once everything is glued together, you could use some scissors and trim the tips of the toothpicks to make your bridge look better. Just be aware that when you do this, some toothpicks might come unglued. Keep in mind that the bridge you see here was designed to meet specific competition requirements. Be sure to check with your instructors, teacher, or judge to make sure your bridge is meeting all the requirements you have to follow. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. Please click on that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Good luck, everybody.